Now, what is the best way to keep warm in this weather and stay healthy? Me, I had to shovel snow from my driveway yesterday and I've been struck down with pneumonia this morning, but I have, I have, I've woken up with some horrible virus or you something. That I have, but I've come into work regardless. Uh, Rosie Stancer has, though, been to the South and the North Pole, enduring temperatures as low as minus 60 degrees, so she knows all about what to do. And there she is in our central London studio. Rosie, you must laugh in the face of all this, what you've seen over the past couple of days. No, I don't laugh at all. I think people should be um, very aware and cautious in these conditions. Uh, cautious in, in what way? What, what have you learnt from the extreme things that you do? What could you pass on in, in the form of everyday advice about, you know, staying upright, keeping warm? What have you got to say? Well, first of all, I think be positive and enjoy this extreme contrast to, to what we're used to. But in order to actually enjoy it and make the most of it, you have to be prepared and you have to anticipate. So to a degree, you have to be a bit of a pessimist. You have to expect the worst. Like you have to think very carefully about what you put in your car that you might not normally before you go on a car journey. You think about your clothing and about what you eat. I think so many people are caught short as regards clothing and they say, oh, we haven't got the right sort of boots. They're caught with the wrong shoes on. They haven't got the right sort of coats and all that sort of thing. But I believe you're, you're a fan of putting cardboard in your boots, for instance. Why is that? The lady's just a tramp. Um, well, the first thing I learned on expeditions is that you're very limited in the amount of kit and equipment that you can actually take. So you really have to be resourceful. And I think that we all here have to be very resourceful, particularly given the current economic climate. We can't just rush out and buy fancy, expensive winter gear. So make the most of what you've got. Yes, if you haven't got um, stomping outdoor warm boots, Get your wellies out, cut out some cardboard and line the bottom of your wellingtons with cardboard. That'll stop the cold penetrating up from the bottom. And you might not have any skiing clothing, so instead wear lots of layers, lots of thin layers, unless you want to look like a television. I'm going tubby. to give you a tip that you may <laughs> not have come across in your Arctic adventures. Have a listen to this as regards shoes and staying upright. Well, my nana used to put plastic bags over her shoes and then put socks over the plastic bags so you would have uh, grip from the socks and then the plastic bags would keep your feet dry and also mm. protect your shoes from the salt stains you get from snow. So, Rosie, the next um, expedition you go on, um, that, that will be standard equipment for you, I would have thought. Well, you know, I'm afraid to say I wasn't very glamorous. Tell your nana, please, that I did actually use a certain supermarket plastic shopping bags ration bags on my feet over my socks too. <laughs> Rosie, so don't just, worry just... about how glamorous you look. The most important thing is to be comfortable. Just finally, Rosie, uh, we're, we're experiencing temperatures maybe minus five or so at their worst. What yes. does minus 60 feel like? Uh, it's quite a frightening temperature. You have to anticipate everything. You have to protect your body and your mentality and it's the same for everyone here as well and not just to look after yourself but look after everyone around you think in terms of an expedition think of team what about all your friends family the old people keep an eye out for them as well make sure that they have everything that they need as well. Rosie There's Stancer. not a whole lot of difference between minus 60 and these conditions if you're not used to them. Well, wise words, wise words. Thanks for that advice. Pleasure you're talking welcome. to you. Thank you very much indeed, Rosie Stancer, Arctic Thank Explorer. You. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, you've been out and about. Exploring. It's like an Arctic wasteland out there <laughs> throughout Britain. And here's Charlotte with the evidence. Yeah, we've had more really nice photos sent in actually to the Sky website. Uh, what better